a very warm good morning students today we continue lesson 6 political parties from civics in our last class we learned why do we need political parties under the topic we covered meaning of political party components of political party and the functions of political party today we come to the second topic that is how many parties should we have now why this question is put how many parties should we have in a democracy any group of people can form parties there is a freedom to form parties therefore they have given this question that is how many parties should we have when we speak about india there is around 750 parties which are registered with the election commission of india therefore it is topic is given to us to discuss about how many parties should we have now under this topic any country they can follow a system under this we have only three system that is one party system two party system or multi party system when we speak about one party system or mono party system or single party system now this system is followed in china okay if they ask example for one party system it is we find it in china in china it is only the communist party is allowed to rule now this does not mean that other parties they do not have what happened the system that they follow the election system that they follow does not allow other parties to contest election as a result what happens in china people are asked to for, vote for communist party for or against that is the choice they have they do not have the choice of competing with communist party other parties so one party system you should record in your mind that is it is followed in china and when we speak about in a democracy one party system is it good now when we speak about democracy one party system is not proper because in a democracy it is at least two parties we should have they should have chance to compete with each other and form the government then we call it as a democracy system so when we speak about china they have only single party system therefore it is not ideal for democracy okay second one is that is two party system or bi party system when we speak about two party system there are other parties too who contest election and win election few seats they may win therefore they will not have the majority to form the government but who will have the majority that is two major parties will have the majority and they form the government and this system is followed in usa and uk there are two main parties which contest the elections and they win and they come form the government two party system is followed in usa and uk next one is multi party system now a country like india where there are more than two parties then we call it as multi party system in india we have the background there is regional diversities are there therefore many parties are formed and they contest the elections but mainly the party which gets the majority forms the government so multi party system is followed in those where there is lot of variation in language culture all those things now when we speak about india that is 2004 no single party got the majority and they started to form alliance that is nda national democratic alliance and upa united progressive alliance and left front so they come together and they form the government this system is called as multi party system but when in this system sometimes we find that it is not a stable government now it is not a stable government we can say but a country like ours a multi party system is 
needed otherwise the views opinions of people will not be expressed therefore multi party system is followed in india so all three system that is one party system followed in china and two party system followed in usa uk and multi party system is followed in india now the question is which party system is ideal for democracy we cannot say that this question give particular answer that particular system is ideal for one country and this form of uh, system is ideal for another country we cannot conclude because we can answer this question with the view of social diversity that any country is having or regional diversity with that country that is having all the historical background which country is formed all these things we need to take into consideration then only we can say that this party system is ideal for any country therefore we cannot just sum up that this system is good and that system is not good every system the way the country is developed they follow it so the party system that is three one party two party multi party system and the examples you should should recall and able to give in the exams okay next topic that we are going to learn is national political parties now national political parties when we speak about federation there are only two kinds of political parties we can find it in a federation there are only two kinds now one is found in only one unit of the federation or it is found in several units of the federation one unit of the federation is or in several units of the federation now any party that is formed in a democracy has to be registered with the election commission now when it is registered with the election commission what does the election commission does election commission gives equal respect to all the parties but then it gives some facilities to larger parties or well established parties okay now it gives some special facilities or consideration to the larger parties or well established parties now what are these facilities that it gives like the candidates officially elected candidates they can use the party symbol and when they are given this special facilities or special recognition they are called as recognized party now the election commission gives a criteria for a proportion of vote to recognize whether it is national party or whether it is state parties whether it can be called as national party or whether it can be called as state parties now what are these proportion which the election commission puts forward now we to study this topic easily i have given that is national party and the state parties when you study together you will understand more clearly so when you speak about national political parties that is the influence is all over the country at national level national party when you speak about state parties the influence is limited to only the region or the particular state and second one is that is policies and programs and strategy which are formed it is national outlook when you speak about state parties they only have their ideologies at the regional level ideologies and views at the regional level okay these are two points and next point is very important that is if you want to say any parties that is a national party what this party need to do need to secure six percentage of total votes if a national party it has to secure six percentage of total votes same thing with the uh, state parties also that is six percentage of total votes but the difference is state party has to win these six percentage of total votes in the state election that is legislative assembly of the state and at least two seats they have to win when we speak about state party the proportion of vote that is six percentage of total vote they have to get in an election of the state assembly or state legislature and they have to win two seats in the state now the difference is national party 
they also have to win 6 percentage of total votes but then they have to in the Lok Sabha elections of assembly election in four states. In the Lok Sabha election they have to win 6 percentage of votes and in the state assemblies they have to win at least four states they have to win four seats. Their presence should be in more than one state. But when you speak about uh, state party, their presence is only in a single state. Here it is the 6 percentage of total votes in Lok Sabha elections as well as in assembly election in 4 states they have to win at least 4 seats. When they win 4 seats in 4 states and 6 percentage of the total votes in a general election then they are considered as national party and state party when they win 6 percentage of vote and in the state assembly election and 2 seats in a state they are recognized as the state party. Tomorrow I will continue in my next class that is the national parties recognized national parties in our country. There are 6 national recognized parties in our country we will study in detail today I stop here. Read this lesson and learn these points correctly. Thank you.